Hey, black passport to anywhere. Let me show you. All over the globe, plenty food and plenty culture. culture. Come and get to know them. Maria and Kamali, get your suitcase, grab your camera. We taking off and departing. Hey, brand new adventure. Have a little fun with it while we vlog. Come join in, just hit subscribe. But you gotta do it now. We're ready to take off. Never know where we land. Ten thousand feet in the air. I hope you ready. This is Black Passport to anywhere. Let's go, let's go. My name's Mervin Domingo. Taxi driver for 14 years. First time visiting? Yes. Well, it's a very multicultural country, very friendly. We have a little bit of every ethnic group and a lot of Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, small country and young country as well because we just got our independence in 1981. I like, like Peacocker and San Ignacio. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, San Ignacio, you have a lot of little areas where you could go to the waterfalls, you got yeah. the ruins, and it's rich with agriculture. Nice, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what we're going to be doing a lot of that. And keep our curries laid back, go slow. Our staple here is the coconut rice and beans with stewed chicken, fried Sweet. plantain, with a potato salad and a homemade habanero pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. What's the significance of the chicken bus? <laughs> I don't really know, I don't know if I had the chicken bus, but yeah. They call it the chicken bus because back in the days, you would be on the bus as passenger, but people have their animals right on top where it should be the luggage. Oh, and wow. you'd have chickens crawling over, yeah. Central Park. Then this right here, we only have three streets in the island. This one we have the front street, this one way going up north, and then we have the middle street, one way going down south, all right? And then we have the back street, which is both ways, all right? And this right here is Lavish Habit. This is a really nice place to get some ice um, coffee. You guys have iced coffee and smoothies, that's this place, all right? Okay. After here, like we're, when we're in the middle of town, this is just one, one road, all right? Okay. And then this is, we have the back road, but that one's not paved, this one is paved, all right? Okay. So from here, it's just one road, you guys cannot get lost, all right? Okay. And so here we have the only police station and the only fire station we have in the island, all right? Wow. So you guys know, yeah, mm -hmm. so you know when Jonathan uh, Kamarli behaves bad, you can call the guys for them, all right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so right here, this is the only roundabout we have in the island, right? Okay. We don't have other one, any other roundabout. <laughs> this is the, one of the most um, ways of, of transport yeah, here in the island, right? A lot of golf carts, all right? You would kind of see some cars around, but that's rare, all right? Okay. Uh, you would mostly see this. We have so much that sometimes we we, uh, we don't even know where to park, you know? <laughs> but this building here is the only high school we have in the island, all right? Oh. And I graduated in 2019. Oh, wow! COVID-19, all right, for COVID-19. Oh, that's yeah. They use this um, compound. Uh, for 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 college, so they use they use oh. um, it for high school in the yeah. during the day and then for college in the night. Oh. This is um, all right? Yeah, so you can get your toes sand here. So every Tuesday. They, they have permit crop races, all right? So you can, yeah, wow. you, get, you get to bet, you can bet, you get to bet on them, and then you can win, you know, cash prizes. Also, oh. we have the other one, which is famous also, which is chicken drop. I know everybody wants to go to Secret Beach. That was a secret. Yeah, that was a secret when I grew up, you know. Yeah, you know, before when when it was really a secret beach, there was only one dock, you know, and there was only one restaurant there, you know. And now you know they have more than 20 restaurants, you know. 
So yeah, and then usually on, on like weekends it gets really, really crowded. So we made it to the Per Resort and we had like a 20 minute island tour. It was really lovely. And I would say this is really cool. We're on the north side of the island and we're gonna go have our welcome drink. So come on. Courtesy of the resort. And we're about to grab some nachos to eat real quick because we haven't eaten since like early this morning. Then hopefully the plan tonight is to get a golf cart, to go to Chicken Drop, stay tuned for that, and to grab some dinner. And probably gonna call it early, but we're first gonna drink and eat. So first meal and believe we got loaded chicken nachos. And I'm super excited about this because I'm starving, but they also look amazing. You can build your own, which we did. Oh wow. These are good. Mm. This is what I've been eating. It's like, have breaks in there. Our like, lovely guys have like pretty much arranged everything. They're gonna grab us a golf cart. We're gonna like, they're gonna make reservations for us. This is like, probably one of the most like, I guess, Gucci vacations we've ever taken. We've been stuck in it lately, and I think this is a treat for us. It definitely is gonna get more rough. Don't think that we're just doing this, because of course, if you watch our channel, then you know that we're not one to stay in this type of environment for long, but I think it's nice for a few days, and I'm definitely enjoying it. These tacos are bomb, so we just got chicken tacos. I already took a bite. They're very well seasoned, like it's like super good. Like I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. And so far, like 10 out of 10 for everything here. Like service, aesthetics, the food, the drinks, the environment, all good. And the company is the best part. All right, there you go, Marley. You asked for a Belizean drink? There you go. <laughs> Our official Belizean drink goes by the name of Panta Ripper. All right, Panta Ripper. After, after three or four, yeah, they don't get ripped no more. They just fall off, all right? Nelson already told y'all what it is, so we're about to see what it's talking about. Ooh, OK. Got a little coconut in there, a little rum. OK. Yeah, this is it right here. Oh my God, get this. Yeah. Don't ask no questions. Just ask them for something that says Belize. We're on vacation, all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't feel no way, all right? <laughs> not gonna make it a I'm gonna be done by the time dinner gets here. <laughs> what is this one called? You name it, I mix it. Oh. Huh, I don't know, I think. This is a drink cut is from Nelson because he says that we're on vacation and this is our time. You know, we're on vacation. We're on vacation, man. Ooh. That's good. I like this one. I like that one. You like it more than mine? Maybe. It's reminiscent of Chaya. Ooh. If you guys know our It's a Mall video, then you know Chaya. Don't tell me that. This almost feels like a more alcoholic version of Chaya. Are you ready? Okay. I mean, I mean, you can, you can, I mean, you can sip it off, all right? Yeah, you, yeah, you can sip it off, enjoy the flavor, all right? Yo! Oh, I can't drink Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. That's when did this open? Uh, we have 26 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. We are in our Per Resort room, and the name of our room is Tapir. I don't know if we do a lot of room tours. I think we do a fair amount. But I would have to say that this, I think, takes the cake. When I was looking for a place to stay in Belize, there were so many options, so many ranges, and I was just overwhelmed with trying to find a place to stay. And I happened upon this on Airbnb, actually. So Per Resort is a small, adult-only boutique resort. There's only six suites in the entire property. And when I say that I think it's probably the best secret thing I've ever stumbled upon, I'm not exaggerating. From the time we like got picked up at the water taxi to like coming to our room, everyone has been so kind, so accommodating, so friendly, and literally this property is beautiful. Like look at this room. So what are we getting? So 
So let's do the hundred dollar drop because we have reservations at eight thirty. So let's just get the like each one of us get like one for the hundred. We're about to buy some numbers for the chicken drop. Wish us luck. We're bound for game three. This is five dollars US per ticket equals uh, ten dollars per Ticket. Your winning is gonna be 500 million. So ten dollars per for one number. Yes. And your winning is 500 million. Okay. So we're just one? gonna do one ticket then. What number do you wanna do? Three. We do random. A oh, random. So we can't pick a number. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Right. And this is my number. Yes. This is my your number. number. Okay. We got 57. So here we go. <laughs> Alright, so, do you know what to say to get that chicken in your hand? You're going to say, security, bring out my chicken. Are you ready? Security, bring out my chicken. Alright, security, bring out the white one, right? Curry, buy yourself your tickets and get in the game, man, because some shit is about to go down. Alright, we got Curry coming out. If you guys want to be a volunteer, you got to check us at the DJ booth to get in the game. Alright? So you know what you got to do? You got to swing Curry in a circle three times. Let's start at one, a two, a three. Then you go up and down, up, up and down. Now you blow, now you blow Curry's butt for good luck. All right, drop Curry in the ring. Remember guys, you just can't stand around. To see some shit, you gotta say some shit. You gotta encourage that chicken. You gotta encourage that make some noise. Two more minutes, man. Maybe three more minutes. Curry doesn't poop in the next three minutes. We're gonna force ourselves to bring out a backup chicken. The shit has to go down. Should we bring in a backup chicken? I can't hear you. Should we bring in a backup chicken? Security! Bring in a backup chicken. Do not bring the Johnson. To see some shit, you guys gotta say some shit. You gotta encourage those chickens. You gotta make some noise for those chickens. Let's go and make some noise. We got two chickens in the ring right now. Ain't shit happening, man. Should we bring in a back to the back of chicken? Are you guys sure? I can't hear you guys. Should we bring in a back to the back of chicken? Security! Bring out a turned chicken, man. Shit has to go down. Shit has to go down. If we don't get the poop done, these three chickens, we're gonna remove these three, these three chickens, and we're gonna bring out the big Johnson. All right, man, we got a third chicken in the ring. We got a third chicken in the ring. Let's go! Is it over? Are you guys sure? Let me verify that shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the lucky yeah. shitty number of the night is number 74. Yeah. 74. Yeah. You guys have the lucky shit? Alright, so I got one winner, right? All tickets winners to claim your prize. You must <laughs> clean the poop. Make some noise! You just want to one hundred dollars party drinking money. So we're at Carambas, which is this famous seafood place that's on the island. They're famous for, one, having fresh seafood that you can just pick outside, and then they'll cook up in whatever style you want when you get inside. They also have other things for none, seafood lovers like steak, chicken, etc. But the main draw here is the seafood. I've also heard you have to get the Oreo cheesecake, so we'll let you know how we feel about it. Thankfully, our resort made reservations for us, so this is another perk of staying at like a personalized kind of boutique resort. How many? How many? Um, nah, like, three is good. Four. Yeah, it's good. And then I'm good, because I don't eat a lot. Take it to the table. Hi, can I get a lobster tail as well? And I'll just get the snapper and the lobster tail. Yep, and I'll get those two. Yep, that's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
I got a whole fried snapper and a garlic butter grilled lobster tail with coconut rice and veggies. We're gonna try it. This is a lot of food, so I hope that I can eat it all. This lobster is freaking A1, man. This garlic butter sauce is like literally amazing. I mean, look at this. A bit of rice with this. Mm -hmm. And the veggies, man. I work. I work. As y'all know, they brought a non-seafood eater to a seafood restaurant. Why? I don't know. So I got me some fried chicken, some coconut rice, which by the way, I was expecting it to look like rice and peas, but it's like white rice. I haven't tasted it yet, so let's start with that and see what we talk about there. Oh, and I got the potato salad because they said it was creamy. So we gonna see. I'm not really seeing. What's so significant about the coconut rice? Like, it tastes like rice. I'm not getting anything that stands out about it. Let's try the potato salad. Okay. That's saying something. Look at that crisp though. Oh my God, that's not even skin. All right, let's get in here. Let's see what the seasoning's talking about. Y'all. I'm about to say something, yeah, I'm not gonna understand it. It tastes like KFC chicken, original. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I would say overall rating of this place, I would give an eight out of 10. Fried snapper, amazing. Lobster tail, A1. Coconut rice and veggies and so I think overall, for the ambiance, for everything involved, I would give it an eight out of 10. I think it's worth doing if you're a seafood lover. But maybe get the rice and peas and not the coconut rice, because I think we thought that was the rice and peas. Oh, and for dessert, we also got Oreo cheesecake, because that is pretty much well known here as something you have to get. But because we're old, we got it to go home because we're pretty tired. So we're about to go back to the resort, crash for the night. We'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> as you can tell by this complimentary beach towel, we're headed to the beach today. And we'll let you in a not so secret secret that you'll see later. We also first are gonna get some breakfast because we all know that I'm grumpy if I don't eat first. And then we'll show you the beach. <laughs> Mexico all over again. And again, we ended up with a slow one. I don't know how we keep having this issue. <laughs> We're at Estelle down by the sea, which is known for their breakfast. They do breakfast all day, and they're actually known for their fried jacks. We're going to try it out today. I think I'm gonna probably get the special. Our special one that we are known for mm -hmm. is this one. It's yeah. the Mayan egg. It's scrambled with onion, tomato, cilantro, mixed with the meat. Mm -hmm. And we also have our stuffed fried jack that is similar to the It's just that all the egg is inside of it. Oh, okay. okay. I got an Arnold Palmer. And I'm really happy they call them Arnold Palmer's. I've heard in the U.S. like some of these other places have been calling them like some something sunshine joy or some crap uh, like sun that. Joys. Sun joys. Which, if you're from the South, that is disrespectful. It is an Arnold Palmer. Okay. And so I got that. <laughs> Apparently, this is what the locals like to drink. We're gonna try it out. Ooh, this is fresh lemonade. So this is really good, actually. Mm-hmm. I would say that this is not a sweet, this is fresh squeezed lemonade. This is not a sweet, and it has a very good flavor to it. So get you on a farmer here, they're refreshing. I went the opposite way and got a mimosa, because we on vacation, but it's a watermelon mimosa, and it looks really fresh, and I'm about to try it, so. Oh yeah, Kamala, you gonna like this. <laughs> 
that's good. That's fresh watermelon. Like yeah. they just squeeze that right now and yeah. put champagne in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm the adult of the group because, you know, I understand that you need food on your stomach before you have alcohol in the morning. Alcohol. You know? I didn't so, get alcohol, y'all don't see him. I got the watermelon juice. Fresh. It's delicious. Delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got mine eggs to project and they look amazing. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited about this. It comes with salsa. Also, they have some habanero hot sauce that I may try. We all know my spice is hard. It's not up to par. So, um, I'm gonna try a bite first without anything. Oh my gosh. This is so good. It's like a deep fried hot pocket that is so much better than like that processed stuff you get because this dough is light. It's like lightly seasoned with sauce. I say this a lot and you guys are probably just tired of me saying stuff is good, but it is. Like I don't really know what else to tell you besides the fact that I made a perfect decision and I got the right food. I went the traditional route, you know, I told her to make it as traditional as possible. So this is their famous mine eggs. They got the eggs with some sausage in there. They give you three options of meat. I want the sausage. We got the beans right here. And then the unstuffed jacks. <laughs> so let's go ahead and taste it first, you know, just to see what we're talking about flavor-wise. See if we need to add anything. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't know what's on that egg to make it this orange color. But whatever it is, it's nice. It is. Mm. Oh my god. This mm -hmm. airy, mm -hmm. floating. It's a cloud. Let me bite into it. Yeah, cloud. Y'all don't know this, but Jamaicans make dumplings. This is an area version of a Jamaican dumpling. Mm. That's a good way to describe it. Let me try the beans. Mm. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. I just got a flashback to Islam. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. But yeah. If I had to choose, I'm gonna tell y'all to get this because it's traditional. You wouldn't believe. Um, my food is also traditional. It's just a stuff project. And I do still think it's better than his. <laughs> Marley wants the water colder, but I think it's perfect. It's not, it's not body tint, slightly cooler, which means that it's like enjoyable to dunk yourself in. And I think when you come out, because the sun is not blazing right now, the cloud coverage is nice. And so it's gonna be like the perfect tint when you come out. So I think this is a great beach day. I like when it's slightly cloudy out for beach day. And I'm glad that we got out of here before it starts raining or if it rains this afternoon that we've like gotten like good timing you know so i'm in the water y'all know we lived in south carolina for four years and i didn't eat no i'm i'm about to lie i dipped my toe in that's, a, that's as far as i went my toe but look at this neck high and you know the only other place i do this is jamaica so Iguana, what are they called? Iguana punch. It's beautiful. It's so perfect. Mm. Mm. Lekka. Lekka. So we left the beach because of this incoming storm. And we're here in rainy season. So 
we knew that Norman was a Philly, but prices are cheaper in Belize, less people are here, and when they say quote unquote it's gonna rain, it usually either rains early morning or at this time, and then the shower's kind of done in an hour or so. So we don't mind. We're just gonna go back to the resort and kind of hang out there for a little bit. bar here which is really nice and so yeah we're gonna get a couple drinks we're gonna hang out we have dinner plans tonight you'll see where we're going we have conquered a lot today now we're here for dinner at the blue water grill tonight on friday night they have a sushi special and everyone tends to come for it i'm definitely going to get sushi kamala as you know hate seafood so he'll like to be getting something else they also have pizza and other small plates and things that are not seafood for seafood lovers so you're still cool to come here i got a lemon shark drink and these drinks are big i don't think i realized that i feel like these drinks have been unusually big like in the states you get like half of this drink for the price that we're paying so this is like kind of crazy but anyway here we go mm. Ooh. when they say lemon they mean lemon this has like lemonade in it a little bit of coconut has been the theme of this trip and some like fruit juice that i can't quite place but I really like this. It's like very refreshing. I think it's a nice change from our pen and ripper, you know, thing that we've been doing all trip. So I, love I got the Rum Runner, um, which is not very far off from what we've been drinking. Um, and it is quite big. It's a very big, like, drink. And let me see. She's delicious, like how everything else has been here the whole time. Like, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Come to Belize. That's it. Like, do it. Like, it's great here. This is a honey beer. I don't, it's called the honey bear. Like I heard that and I was ready to go. So here we go. It sounds like a weird combination, but the finish is honey. It's very refreshing. It's not overly complicated. You don't really taste the alcohol, which might be a problem, but we'll see. I got a millennial roll, which looks good. It's like spicy tuna topped with salmon. It has some wasabi and, and toy sauce as always. As you know, I love sushi. So I had to get it since sushi is the special tonight. We're gonna try this with a little bit of wasabi and a little bit of soy sauce. So this wasabi kind of looks pretty fresh. As you know, in the US, I feel like their wasabi sucks. And I'm going to dip this in some soy sauce here. And then we're gonna try it. Here we go. This dish is very good. If you guys have watched our Charleston vlog, number one, that's about West Ashley, you know that our favorite place there is it's in Asian Fusion and that I obsess over their sushi. I actually think that the sushi may be better. Also, their wasabi is hot, so it's not playing games like it does in the US. I think you should come here on sushi night. It's a good night. It's a good vibe. You're by the water. You know, overall, 10 out of 10 is what I would rate this I one. got a rainforest roll. Um, I don't remember exactly what's in it. I know it has like salmon and shrimp, tempura. It looks like spicy mayo, so I'm gonna try it. Don't don't laugh at my chopsticks too, they're not great. But I'm gonna try it. That was phenomenal. Like that was such, I did a happy dance when I ate it. Um, I didn't even put it in the soy sauce or anything. I tried it like alone and it was fun. Like, it's like so fresh and like refreshing. Yeah, it's just 10 out of 10 out of 15 out of 10. Like this is like some of the best like sushi roll I've ever had in like in my life, honestly. So. so I got the Diablo Alfredo. It's supposed to come with shrimp. We don't need to go through this again, right? Cool, cool. So let's see what it's talking about. This place is also really known for their pasta. So. 
Oh. Mm-hmm. They meant Diablo when they said Diablo. Spicy. Pasta is perfectly cooked. Chicken is perfectly cooked. Tomatoes, as always, add a nice, refreshing, full taste to it. I'd recommend it. This is a great pasta. And it comes with the Parmesan cheese all over already, so you ain't gotta worry about that. They got you. It's unbelievable. Yeah.